Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Gabriel al-Rumani recording for the Daily Reminder. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has instructed us on a specific basis that we are Muslims throughout the year. We are not Muslims only in Ramadan. We are not Muslims only on Friday. We are not Muslims only during the five daily prayers. We are Muslims in the masjid, outside the masjid, in our homes, in our schools, in our workplace, wherever we are. So I have a question for you, brother and sister. Are you Ibadul Ramadan or Ibadul Rahman? Are you the servant, the slave of Ramadan, or are you the servant, the slave of Ar Rahman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because Ramadan is slowly, slowly, or should I say fast, fast, leaving us. Again, yet another one. And yes, it's the middle of Ramadan. And yes, the last 10 days are coming and dawning upon us. And yes, we wake up and it's almost Eid and we said, what have we done? Did we finish the Quran? Did we practice what the Quran is saying? At least one ayah, not just reading it and not understanding it. But we will be left with this question. Now what? What is after Ramadan? Do I go back to my old self? Do I go back to just hibernating and doing nothing? Or do I take Ramadan, the lessons that I've learned in Ramadan, the lessons that I've learned in the Qiyam, the lessons that I learned by fasting, and I take him to the next level. I move myself to the next level, bi'idhnillah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I change myself. For the next 11 months, inshallah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us Ramadan, another Ramadan, and another Ramadan, over and over and over again, till inshallah we die. But for the next 11 months, what am I gonna do? Do I just sit and relax, chill out and do nothing and wait for another Ramadan, think it's going to be, you know, inshallah, get another one. How do you know you're going to get another one, brother and sister? How do you know you're going to make it to the next Ramadan? So again, I ask you, are you the servant of Ramadan or the servant of Ar-Rahman? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that yes, he has prescribed fasting for us. كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ السِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّكُونَ But this taqwa is not just for Ramadan, brothers and sisters. This taqwa is to build a Ramadan and to move on. All you who believe, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ السِّيَامُ It's been prescribed upon you to fast. As you prescribe for those before you, why? That you may achieve taqwa. Now this taqwa should carry you on for the next 11 months. This taqwa should remain with you. And guess what, brothers and sisters? Fasting is not only for Ramadan. When was the last time you fasted a day outside Ramadan? When was the last time you made a qiyam outside Ramadan? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reinforces this over and over again that we are supposed to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we do Ramadan outside Ramadan as well. Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, Allah is instructing us to pray to, uh, to make iqam of salah from the morning, the night, the times between, and to read Quran in the time of Fajr because this is the time that it is witnessed by the angels. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not telling you do it on Ramadan, aqim salah fi Ramadan. is not telling us to fast on Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not telling us to do these worship only in Ramadan. Allah is preparing us with Ramadan. Ramadan is a school, Ramadan is a university. So what will you do after Ramadan is over? This is the question, brothers and sisters. Again, your brother Gabriel Ar-Rumani for the daily reminder. Are you the Ibad of Ramadan or are you the Ibad of Ar-Rahman?